Hey there and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to use the Orderable plugin, an ultimate online ordering solution for your WordPress website. With Orderable, you can easily add an online ordering system for your WordPress website and easily manage the pickup and delivery services, all without any commission fees. Moreover, if you are, for example, a cafe or a restaurant owner, you can synchronize your restaurant tables uh, with QR codes and then uh, the orders people make in a restaurant will be visible on your WordPress website as well. So it's a great feature. Let's get started with the orderable plugin and learn how to use it for your WordPress website. So here we are on the official website of the orderable plugin. Uh, let's scroll down to see uh, some of the important features the plugin offers. At first, the, the plugin offers money back guarantee, which is quite important for the users. Another important fact is that uh, orderable doesn't charge any transaction fees. No matter how many orders you have and how much money you earn, uh, the orderable plugin will not take any uh, commission fees. Also, the plugin is trusted by 1000 people and it has uh, great reviews on Trustpilot. Let's scroll down a little bit. With the plugin, you can uh, create a fully operational online ordering system for your WordPress website. Uh, you can um, fully manage the, the, both the delivery and the pickup services. Also, I want to uh, highlight another great feature which will help you a lot. For example, if you have a cafe or a restaurant, uh, you can synchronize uh, the table orders with the QR codes of the plugin and then uh, the table uh, orders done in a restaurant will be uh, visible on your WordPress website as well. So we can see that a plugin offers a great number of uh, wonderful features and functionalities you can use. Uh, let's also check the demo for the plugin uh, to see uh, how it looks like on a website. Here is the demo page and here you can see the uh, layout of the website. Uh, here you can see uh, the products displayed in the online menu. Uh, here you can see the categories, whether it's a burger, pizza or a dessert. Uh, also here you can uh, click on uh, select button, uh, add it to the back and here you can also choose uh, the sauces, for example hot chocolate, uh, also you can uh, choose the toppings and then you can click on the add button here, then go to the checkout and make a purchase if you want. Here you will need to uh, insert the contact information, billing address, uh, delivery address and uh, here you can see uh, the summary of your order. Also you can uh, apply a promo code and uh, apply a tip if you want. Then you can uh, finally place order. Let's go to the dashboard and see how to use the orderable plugin. Here we are on our dashboard and here you can see the uh, orderable plugin and WooCommerce plugin uh, installed on our website. Uh, so we can uh, click on uh, the orderable plugin. Here is the first tab that is called dashboard. Here we can see some settings. You can apply the license key. Also you can click here and reach out the support team. Uh, they are very responsive and uh, you can uh, always rely on them. Also the plugin has a great documentation so you can click uh, here and uh, read the documentation uh, and search for your desired topic. The next tab is locations. Here you can specify the open hours for your uh, ordering system. Uh, for example, you can specify the days and hours your location will be open and uh, you can um, do deliveries or people can uh, go for a pickup. Uh, here you can see uh, the uh, days are already um, specified. For now, let's try to configure the open hours. Uh, for example, we will uh, choose to be closed on Sunday and Saturday, so we will um, disable these uh, checkboxes. And for example, we can um, customize the hours, uh, opening hours for Friday. For example, we will be open from 10 a.m. to, uh, for example, um, 10 p.m. And here we can uh, specify the maximum orders number. For example, um, for example, it will be a hundred. So uh, we will be able to take maximum hundred orders uh, per day. For example, for Friday. Here you can specify the time zone. Uh, based on your location, uh, and you can add holidays here. 
for example uh, you can choose the delivery and pickup services and you can uh, specify the holidays uh, for example uh, for these days and here you can see some settings related to the location picker uh, and you can tick this option if you want then we can go to the tip settings tab uh, and here uh, you can see that the tipping is enabled you can disable it if you want uh, and here you can specify the tipping options uh, the label amount type uh, etc we have specified uh, three uh, percentages for the uh, tip um, 15 percent 18 and 22 by default it is chosen no tip for the customers then we can go to the checkout settings here we can enable custom checkout here we can uh, tick and uh, enable our logo for the checkout page and we can upload our uh, logo if we want. Also we can provide a logo link here. And on a side row or bar we can uh, somehow quick view settings. Then we can go to the notifications. Uh, here we can provide the admin phone number and some uh, features uh, related to the uh, integrations uh, also the plugin has whatsapp integration and twilio integration then on the styles tab we can configure the styling of the ordering system for example you can choose the brand color button styles for example rounded or square uh, product cards and mini card settings then on the, uh, on the integrations tab you can uh, enable your google api key once we are done with these uh, tabs, we can go to the live order view uh, page here. Here we can see the orders, uh, order number, date, status, whether it's processing or uh, it is uh, already um, completed, the total uh, amount, service, uh, whether it's a delivery or pickup, due date and time, uh, if there is a table, uh, synchronize the table and uh, of course the location. Here also you can uh, choose uh, your desired bulk actions. Uh, for example, if the order has been cancelled, you can uh, change the status of the order to cancelled. Here you can uh, filter by locations, uh, you can uh, filter by uh, services, whether it's a delivery or pickup, and you can filter by the due date uh, by choosing the date here. Then we can go to the product layouts page. The product layouts page is designed to create an online menu. It will display all the products in a menu style layout so that the customers can choose what they want to add to their orders. Here you can see that we have uh, different product layouts already created. Uh, to add a new product layout, you just need to click on the add new button. Uh, but now let's open uh, any of the uh, or, um, product layouts we have already created. So we will open ordering menu. And uh, the first part is to uh, add a layout title, for example, ordering menu. Then here we can see the categories. Uh, here you can see which product categories to display in this layout. For example, uh, you can set it uncategorized or you can choose the categories like uh, this ones. Uh, here you can choose the display, whether it's a grid or a list view. Then you can choose the sorting, whether default, name, latest, price, low to high, etc. Also here you can uh, enable sorting on a front end so that the customers can change uh, how the products are sorted. Uh, here you can uh, choose the sections. Uh, you can choose to display the uh, products uh, with images uh, or without them for example like this here for the clickable card a quick view product is uh, enabled this is for uh, specifying what happens when you click uh, to the uh, product card and here we can specify the labels like this and what is great about the plugin is that you can see the layout preview uh, that means uh, how the uh, ordering menu will look like on a website here you can see how beautiful it is. Once we are done with the product layouts, we can go to the product add-ons. Here you can see that uh, we have already added some uh, product add-ons. To add a new one, you just need to click here. Let's open uh, any of the uh, added product add-ons. For example, uh, burger toppings. Here you can see we have added cheese, uh, toppings and uh, condiments. 
And what is great about this feature is that you can set a condition. Uh, for example, you can determine uh, when this field group uh, should appear. For example, you can choose product category. For example, product is equal to, and we can search for a product category here. For example, a uh, burger, uh, vegan burger. Once we are done with the uh, product add-ons as well, we can go to the table ordering. We can uh, click on the add new button here and uh, write a table uh, title, for example, uh, table 3. Here we need to write the ID like this and publish uh, the table. As you can see, the QR code has been generated. For example, the customer comes and sits at a table uh, at your restaurant or a cafe and you have already uh, scanned the QR code, printed it and um, placed it on a table. The customer will scan the QR code and can be redirected to the URL, uh, for example, uh, the menu uh, to place the order. Once we are done with the table ordering as well, we can go to the locations. Here you can find both main location and secondary location. To add a new one, you just need to click on the add new location button here. Uh, you can see the name of the location, address, status, whether it's open or not, services, uh, whether they provide delivery or a pickup or both of the uh, services. Here you can see the live orders, uh, post delivery and post pickup. Let's click on the live orders here. Here you can see the order, date, status, it's on hold, uh, the price, uh, the service, whether it's pickup or a delivery, uh, all of them are pickup. Uh, here are the origin uh, and uh, this um, information. And here you can see the location uh, of the orders, it's the main one. Also you can uh, print the order. Let's go back to the dashboard. Here you can uh, click and pause the delivery and uh, pause the pickup. Let's open the main location first. Here you can specify the details about the address uh, with line 1 and line 2. Also the city, country and the postal zip code. Here we have uh, default open hours uh, and we can uh, just change them uh, whenever we want. For example, uh, here are, uh, we can see the default uh, open hours. But if we enable this, we can here customize uh, the open hours for the restaurant and for the main location. For example, we can set, uh, for example, uh, starting from 10 a.m. to, for example, um, 12 p.m. for the Saturday and here we can provide maximum orders uh, number for example 200 that means uh, on Saturday the uh, main location can have uh, no more than 200 uh, maximum orders per day and the open hours are different for the uh, for Saturday you can customize any day and any open hour uh, if you want here you can specify the services, either delivery or pickup. For example, for the main location, we will have both delivery and pickup. Here you can see the service hours for the delivery. Here you can see that the delivery can be done from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Here you can specify also the frequency in minutes, lead time, maximum orders and the delivery zones. Uh, for the pickup services, um, you, we have same as delivery service hours, but if we untick this option here, we can uh, select our days manually, uh, for example, like this. And also we can uh, specify the period, for example, with time slots, and we can manually uh, set the uh, different settings for the pickup. And also we can click here and add service hours if we want. Here we can see order options uh, like as soon as possible or on delivery date, on delivery time. Here we can see the lead time, uh, like how long do you need to prepare the order. Um, uh, here you can see pre-order days, like how many days uh, do you want to offer delivery or pickup. Here you can see delivery days calculation method. Uh, you can calculate lead time and pre-order days based on all days of the week, uh, open, uh, open days, service days and uh, weekdays. 
here you can see the options and here you can see the holiday settings uh, you can enable default holidays uh, we can uh, change it uh, from here here we can add uh, lo uh, holidays uh, for this uh, location for the main location uh, for example we can specify uh, from these settings to these settings and um, these dates and here we can choose the uh, services and here we can tick and repeat this uh, yearly so by this you can specify on which holidays the location will be closed so that your customers can know about this beforehand uh, these uh, were all the settings for the mail location let's go back to the dashboard here you can also see the second location secondary location we can click on it and check its settings and the settings are the same for the secondary location as well but the address is different uh, as it's a secondary location it's another one uh, here also we can change the open hours for this and we can um, repeat all the steps we have done for the main location for the secondary location once we are done with the secondary location as well we can go to the timed product to add a new one just click on the add new button and uh, let's open the timed product already created this page you can customize when uh, exactly the certain products or product categories will be displayed and be uh, available for your bookmark store here you can uh, choose the action uh, either visible or hidden uh, then uh, you can specify the rules for the timed product and choose the current uh, date time and also here you can see set the conditions for example uh, display uh, this uh, product uh, if it is equal to a triple chocolate cookie and or for example if the product category is equal to pizza so let's go to the order statuses page here we can see uh, the orders in status uh, they are both enabled um, here we can see uh, the name uh, either for delivery or prepping for example if the um, order is uh, uh, out of for delivery you will see this status uh, if it is in preparation process you will see this status uh, here you can see the slack notifications type and next steps uh, for example this one is already completed and with the last page is product labels here you can uh, insert the product uh, name uh, and choose how it will appear on your website here you will uh, be able to provide a slug you can write a short description uh, you can choose the display option either name icon icon name and name icon here you can choose the colors um, and also you can add new product label if you want Let's, for example, open any of the uh, product labels we have created, for example, this one. Here you can see the name is spicy, slug again is spicy. Here we can uh, see the color specified for uh, this product label. And also the preview looks like this, so that the customers can know that this product uh, is spicy. So with the final step, we can learn how to insert the uh, ordering menu uh, on your uh, website. You need to copy uh, the short code, then go to your desired page or post uh, and add a new one. Here you need to insert the short code and write a title, for example, uh, order online. And you can publish the post. By clicking on this button and here is our um, website with the uh, products displayed there here we can uh, click on these categories and change them that uh, that is all you can click on the select then um, choose your desired cheese then uh, the toppings condiments and click on the add button then go to the checkout to finalize the ordering process that was all about the orderable plugin if you find the video helpful don't forget to like subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the notification bell for more informative videos bye